In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add your digital products to your Etsy store. Hey friends, welcome back to another video. If this is your first time here, my name is Tisha and I teach you how to create and sell digital products using online tools. Now this video is actually part two of a four part video series. If you did not catch part one, I'll be sure to list that down below in the description box. This is a four part series where I'm teaching you how you can get started selling your digital products on Etsy. Now, one of the most common questions that I receive is how will my customers receive my digital product? And the most common way to do this is by uploading a PDF file. You may have heard this be called a digital download PDF, instructional PDF, or a deliverable PDF. They're all the same thing. There are two main reasons why you may want to use a PDF to deliver your digital product to your customer. The first reason is the type of digital product that you are selling. If you are selling a template like a Canva template or a Google Sheets template, you cannot upload a template to the Etsy platform. Therefore, you need a physical file like a PDF to give to your customer so they can access your template. Reason number two is that maybe your digital product file is too large and you need to host that digital product on a separate platform. So you want to upload your PDF and deliver that PDF to your customers and give them access to wherever you are hosting your digital product. Okay, now I'm going to break this video up into two parts. The first part, I'm going to show you how to create your PDF. And then in the second part, I'm going to show you how to upload that PDF to your Etsy shop and create your digital product listing. Okay, so make sure that you watch the full tutorial so you don't miss out on any of these steps. Now that we got that out of the way, let's go ahead and jump into my computer screen so I can show you how to get started. For part one, we're going to start in Canva. So for my Canva dashboard, we want to create a custom design. To get started, we're going to go to the top right and click create a design. You want to go here to the bottom where it says custom size. You want to change the units to inches and then we're going to do 8.5 by 11. So it's going to bring us to our Canva editor and we're just going to start adding all of the different elements to create our PDF. So the first step I want to do is we want to add a thank you message. So we're just going to start with some text. So let's just add a header text and we're just going to type thank you. And let's just move this to the top and let's do a subheading and we're going to say for your order and let's kind of make thank you a little bit bigger. Um, the next thing you want to add is an image of your digital product. So you just want to make sure that you have an image of your digital product to upload your image. You want to make sure that you go to the left hand menu click upload and once you have your image you just want to size it where it fits onto your PDF you can just place this anywhere on your PDF I like to kind of keep it either to the left or to the right um, let's actually put it on the right now we're going to give instructions on how they can access their digital product so I'm going to go back to text and let's add some text and you want to just let them know to click the button below to access your purchase. So let's type that in. All right. And now we're going to create a button that looks like a call to action button for them to click on. So to do this, we want to go to elements. Then we want to click on shapes. I like using the shape with the round corners. And then you want to just resize it where it looks like a button. Okay. Now that we have a button, next we're going to give the call to action. And so let's add some more text. And for the call to action, I like to keep it all caps. You can say click here to access, or you can say access your, and add the name of your digital product. However you, however you want to write your call to action, you just type that out. 
And let's make this bold. I think I want to make my button a little bigger because you want to make sure that it's obvious how to access your digital product. So let me bring this down. And then I'm going to stretch it out. And let's change the color of my button text. And then I'm just going to group this by highlighting everything and then clicking on group. So when I move it, it all moves together. And let's put this here. And we're going to rearrange our text and our images so it can flow a little bit better. So let's do this and make our image here. Make it a little bit larger. Let's play with our text a little bit just so it can look nice and neat. And I'm going to bring it down just a bit, a tad bit. Okay, so after we created our button, the next step is to actually add our digital product link to our button. This can be your template link or wherever you're hosting your digital product, you want to add your URL link to your button. So to do that, you want to right click and then click link. And then you want to paste in your link. And once you're done, you hit done, hit done. As you can see, once you do that, it does underline the words. I personally don't like that. So I will go to the top and remove the underline. And it looks like this. Now, because we have it grouped, that's why it changed that way. If you don't want that, you can ungroup it. And let's see, and put it back how we had it. Oops. Okay. So you want to just make sure that your text is linked and you also want to make sure that your button or your shape is linked. So first we link the text. Now we're going to link the button by following the same process. We're going to right click, hit link, paste our link, hit done. By linking your text and your button, just depending on how the customer clicks on that, it ensures that they get taken to the URL that you want them to go to. Okay, so we're going to add a few more elements to our PDF and it's going to be ready to go. The next thing you may want to add, it is optional and that is like a discount code. And this is usually incentivize your customer to return to make future purchases with you. So to do that, I'm just going to duplicate my text here and then I'm going to write thank you. And then you put your whatever your discount code that you want to put. Thank you, 15. And we're going to duplicate this text here. And then our message can be um, something like use this coupon on your next order. OK, so it can look something like that. So for this bottom section of our PDF, we're going to create a contact us section. And this is a great way to provide customer service. If your customers have any questions or they have any issues with their digital product, they know how to get in contact with you. So let's go back over to the menu here and let's add a shape. Let's do a square and we're going to move this down to the bottom and we're going to drag this out. Get a little bit of height. Um, next, we're going to add a line. And we're going to put that in the middle. So we're going to make it 90 degrees. That's how you know that is straight or negative 90 and we place that in the middle and I actually want this color to be white okay so in this section we're going to add our contact us with our email information or however you want your customer to contact you and then on this side we're going to add our link our Etsy shop and we're going to link our social medias so first, let's work on the contact us. We're going to duplicate our text here because it's the size that we need. And we're going to change this to contact us. And let's we'll change the color to white. And let's look for an email graphic. Now, depending on the type of Canva account you have, you may not have access to the pro graphics, but I do have a pro account. So I'm going to use this graphic. 
if you have the free account simply just choose the graphics that doesn't have the crown logo if you want to filter out and only see the free graphics you want to go to the top right here click this option and then scroll down and then under price you want to select free and now it's going to show you only the free graphics here i want to change my graphic color to white and then I'm going to add my email address by just again duplicating our text. Change the text color so to white so we can be seen. And let's kind of play around with this a little bit. And let's bold our email address so it stands out. So then on this side, we're going to ask, use the call to action follow us. So we're going to duplicate our text. And then we're going to move this to the right side and we're going to type in follow us. Here you want to add the name of your Etsy shop, change this to white. And to link your Etsy shop, we want to follow the same instructions of how we link our digital product. So you want to right click and then click on link, paste in your link or your Etsy link and click done and to remove the underline which is going to go to the top and click underline and then if you want to add social media icons and link them you can do that as well you just go back over to the elements section and you type in or search for the social media icon that you want to link so let's look for instagram so let's look for some free icons you want to try to look for icons where you can change the color so this is currently black. I can change it to white. And then let's see if I want to search for Pinterest. And then you want to just resize them where they look kind of small. They're not too big. And we're going to add them, change it to white. And you just repeat this process until you have all of the social media icons that you want to add to your PDF. Okay, now once you've added your icons, again, you want to right click the icon, click on link paste your social media URL, click done, click done again, and your link has been added to your social media icon. Okay, so that is how we create a PDF. Now, I kept it very simple for tutorial purposes. Again, you can go in and create something similar, add your brand colors, your logo, and any brand elements to customize it to make it your own for your digital product business. Once you have finished creating your PDF, the next step is to download it as a pdf so we want to go to the top right click on share scroll down and click download we want to change the file type to pdf and we can just use pdf standard and click download once we finish downloading our pdf next step is to head over to etsy so we can add this to our etsy shop so for part two we are on our etsy homepage. From here, you want to access your shop manager. To do that, you want to go to the top, click this little icon that looks like a house, and click shop manager. And it's going to take you to your Etsy shop manager dashboard. From here, you want to go to the left and click on listing. And then to add your listing, you want to go to the top right corner and click add listing. Okay. So now we have to let Etsy know what we are adding to our Etsy shop. So because we are adding digital products, we want to select digital file. It's going to ask you a couple of questions. You want to answer those questions. It's asking who made it. If you made, if you are the person that made your digital product, you want to click I did. If you do have a partner or someone that you work with, you would make that selection. Then it's going to ask this is a finished product. You can click finished product. And then it asks when was it made? You select the time frame when it was made. And it's going to ask, was this digital content created by you or AI? Depending on your digital product, you just make it that selection. And then if you have any partners, again, that partner with you on this creating your digital product, you would add that information here. Once you've answered all of the questions, you hit continue. So the first step is to add a digital product title. This is where you let people know the name of your digital product. And this is also where you can add your Etsy keywords. Next is we're going to add some photos. So we're going to click the add photos button, select your primary photo, and then you just add your additional photos. And then you can drag and drop your images if you want them to appear in a certain order. Okay. 
Once you've added your photos, the next step is to view your thumbnail. If you need to adjust your thumbnail, you can do that by clicking adjust thumbnail button here. Okay, the next step is going to access to add our digital file. This is where we add the PDF that we just created. So you want to click add file and locate your PDF on your computer. Okay, once you added your file, you want to go down and add your digital product description. And this is also another area where you get to add those keywords. So the next step is to add your price. You want to add your price here. And Etsy does give you an estimated profit based on your price. Next is the quantity. Because we are selling a digital product, it is an unlimited quantity, but you want to make sure that you enter this information in. I would recommend just making it a large number so you don't have to constantly come back and update the quantity. Now the next couple of sections we can skip because we have a digital product. We don't need to add a SKU. We don't need to add variations. Next, we need to select our category. So you want to search for whatever it is that you are selling to find that category. So I know I'm selling social media templates, so I'm going to select that category. This next section does not is not relevant to us because this is for physical products. We don't need shipping information. Next is our settings. The returns information is selected here. If you set up your shop to have sections, then you can select the section that you want your digital product to be added to. If this is a featured listing, you can turn that on or off. And then the next option is your renewal options because remember with Etsy, they do charge you a listing fee to list your digital products on their platform. You can select if you want that listing fee to be automatically charged to you or if you want to have it manually done okay once you made your selections the next step is to click publish and it's going to tell you the information about your listing and once you're ready you hit publish it's going to show you your listing you if you don't see it listed then just simply refresh your web browser and you should be able to see your listing okay now if you want to see how this looks on your etsy shop you want to go to your dashboard and then you want to click your Etsy shop URL and this is how you can see how it looks on your shop. Now the last thing I want to show you is actually what the customer sees when they open your PDF. Now with the Etsy platform, once your customer makes a purchase, they're going to receive an email with the receipt and instructions on how to access their digital product that they purchased. And once they click on the link that's in their email, it's going to bring them back to the Etsy platform to download the PDF. This is the PDF that your customer will see and they will be able to click on the button that we created they can click on your Etsy shop and go back to your Etsy shop or they can click on your social media icons and get access to your social media profile. So if we click on our button, it's going to take them directly to the Canva template and allow them to edit this design. Okay friends, so that is how you add your digital product to your Etsy shop. Now that you know how to do that, you just repeat this process to add additional listings to your Etsy shop. Now if you are interested in setting up a digital product shop via Etsy, make sure to check out my free checklist down in the description box. If you have any comments or questions, you can leave those down below. And make sure that you turn on your notifications so you don't miss when part 3 drops. Until next time, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.